All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's, well, this video right here is actually going to be very short and simple. Uh, we're just going to be hitting on the process of eye properties and uh, why they're not really required, but why they're necessary and uh, what they do for you. Uh, so the easiest way I could do this, uh, you can get the eye properties in a couple different ways, but uh, the easiest way is to right-click on your part mm -hmm. up here and go down to eye properties. Now here, <clears throat> you'll see a lot of the information already. Uh, the symbol right here is explaining that it's a Weldman assembly. This is the number or the file uh, that you saved it as. Your file size, when it was created, modified, and accessed. And right here, this is where you actually first start out with some of your information. You can see right here I have uh, the title is Cover Panel Display. And I filled in my subject as control panel. <clears throat> uh, my name is the author. Uh, then you can actually populate some of this other information as well, you know, such as category, control. Assign some keywords to it if you wish. If you go over to your project tab, uh, you'll see a lot of this information was actually repeated from the summary, um, such as your part number, I'm sorry, your summary and your general. Uh, you have your part number, sheer fact that it's a Waldman file type. Uh, stock number is usually, um, if you're working for a company that buys uh, a lot of piece parts or you know, third party hardware or things of that nature you could put their stock number in here um, generally if it's you know, made in-house and it's completely constructed by you or your company uh, you know, leave stock number blank uh, description again cover panel display uh, the revision number which is you know since it's brand new it gets a revision of zero one um, if you have to modify it a couple times you know, you easily change it to zero two or, or whatever the case. Um, project's going to be control panel. Uh, I am both designer and engineer, so I leave my name in both of those fields. Um, you can actually go in and put the authority, uh, cost center, estimated costs, vendor, and a web link in there. Typically, I don't. Uh, occasionally, I'll go through and populate the estimated cost for some projects, but not all the time. Um, creation date, uh, which I created this on the 4th of November. Now, uh, you go under status. You have your part number, stock number, status, you know, whether it's work in progress, pending, or released. Uh, who checked it, it and who approved it in engineering, who approved it in manufacturing, the dates for all of those. Uh, you can also add some custom values. Uh, so for this area here, I have uh, that it's in kilograms for that customer. Uh, normally, most of my stuff is pounds, but for this instance and this customer, it's kilograms. Uh, all my material information is actually going to be displayed on my drawing, so I just have it as C table. Uh, the weight in kilograms, which is 76.5. Um, you also go over here, you have your physical tab, and what this does, what, or, you know, basically what it'll do is you have your piece of steel or aluminum or plastic or whatever the case may be. If you were in a part level, you could choose your material up here, update it, and it, it will populate your mass, area, and volume, uh, also your center of gravities. Since I'm in an assembly detail, uh, since I'm in an assembly detail, uh, what it does is it actually populates the materials that I used for my individual pieces, adds all that together, and this is my total mass, total area, and total volume. Uh, there is other things that you can get into with your eye properties, but it's always best to fill out your eye properties as much as possible. And the reason I say that is if you're going through and you're looking for a particular part or 
piece of hardware or something along that lines. The more information you have in here, the better. Uh, whether or not you're using the vault or just uh, you know Windows Search or anything like that, if you have all this information populated, it makes it so much easier to find exactly what you need as quick as you can, so to say. Um, if this was all left blank and I tried hunting down some information about this part here, the only thing I essentially would be able to search for is this number right here, which is what I saved it as. Um, if you have a solid naming scheme, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, well, it, it is, but it's a little bit easier to find something if you have a solid naming scheme. Uh, but if you are more of a, a novice or you do things where you're not dealing with the vault so much and things of that nature, it can be kind of easy to keep track of things and it also can get kind of difficult, especially when you're dealing with hundreds or thousands of parts. Uh, across multiple different revisions and things of that nature. So it's always best <clears throat> to go through, fill out your eye properties as much as possible. It'll save you in the end. And that's it for today.